you know, we all are trying to find something that we're, what, I don't even know what I was about to say. That sentence was going nowhere. <laughs> it was going <laughs> nowhere. Hi, ladies and gentlemen and everybody in between. I am back with somebody's hair and face, basically. And guess what? It's another get ready with me. It's been a minute since I've done a get ready with me. I know why, because baby, I talk too much. I don't even know what I'd be talking about. I confuse myself. Well, this is a full get ready with me. So I did hair, face, body. Okay, which is basically wig, makeup, clothes. But we're gonna go run some errands, some late night errands. And I wanted to get cute a little bit because usually I run out the house with my little deer ponytail and that's it. Before I get into this hair and the rest of this look, can you hit subscribe and the post notification bell just so you can see every single time I post because I'm coming to you every single week with brand new scalps, girl, and faces at this point. Let's go ahead and get into this hair. I wanna say thank you to OMG Her Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring this video when I tell you that this wig is perfect for you to just run out the house. If you're a lace frontal girl, you can wear glueless if you like. I'm not a glueless girly because glue, girl, my wig's gonna fly off. It's gonna end up in your backseat. <laughs> so I need to glue mine down. After we get into this hair, we're also gonna get into doing this face and my Aaron running outfit. So, so if you'd like to see everything I did to get this look, please keep on watching and I'll be back to go ahead and do our face and show you outfit details. Okay, let's get started with the packaging. Your wig is gonna come in the beautiful OMG Her Hair box. And of course, the box comes with gifts. You get your headband, comb, thank you card, all that type of stuff. But of course, you also get your wig. Look at this wig right out of the pack. You can already see the scalpiana. You can see that the cap has three combs, adjustable straps, and you can see the curly edges. Now we're gonna try this wig on because I want y'all to see what this wig looks like. Now this wig is a 13 by six HD lace front wig. It is 20 inches long. It is 150% density and it has, it's stating to have 3A, 3B curly edges. Now we'll get into the curly edges in a second. The cap size on this one is a medium. The cap size was a little bit big for me, but that's okay. Now we're going to get into customizing this wig. As you can see, the hairline is absolutely beautiful. And all we need to do is cut the lace. Usually I work on the hairline first or I tint the lace. Baby, we don't even need to do that. What do you need lace tint for? If you got HD lace like this, it's absolutely gorgeous lace. But I did decide I wanted to flatten the hairline just a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and take my ZLA wax stick and just wax stick the hairline because when I'm laying down my hairline, I like to apply the wig without all that hair in the way. So I like to just lay it backwards. Now, I don't think this was necessary, but this was necessary for me because girl, I already make a mess anyway. I just, I really be splash splashing all around with my wig. So I need to be careful and just get that hairline straight. But as you can see, that lace is already melting into the head. Now I didn't even show the label, but I'm using the even lace bond spray extreme and i'm just going to apply it to the forehead and melt the lace into the head look at how it is disappearing girl i was shocked appalled omg her hair did that now i'm just going to add a little bit more of the spray over top to secure it and melt it and continue to do the same thing on both sides now i feel like i could have made my forehead just a little bit bigger because y'all know i like my forehead to look a little big but that's okay I love how the hairline is shaped and I love how easy it is to melt this lace. HD lace, <laughs> that's my girl. I love HD lace. And as you can see, it's melting into the skin. There's no halo effect, no nothing. Now I see why the girls only request HD lace because there's no turning back. There's no turning back. Now, next, all I'm going to do is lay down this um, lace using a comb, so I'm gonna use a comb, the end of a rat tail comb, as well as using the comb just to comb through the hair to completely flatten it. And once it's dry, I'm gonna go ahead and take those clips out and look, baby, you could be done at this point. But you know me, I always gotta do a little baby hair, a little something. something. So this wig does not need baby hairs because the hairline is so clean, but I love to do just a little baby hair moment just to emphasize the hairline and make the hairline look a little bit more natural, even though this one's natural enough. I'm using my got to be glued gel and I'm just cutting down the baby hairs on the edges. Y'all know I only do four hot spots for my baby hairs. I try not to do too much because I do want it to look 
simple and realistic. And again, this wig has curly edges. So you could emphasize those curly edges if you like, but you know, I gotta do a little bit of something with the baby hair. Now, as you can see, the hairline is looking amazing. If y'all like it, let me know. If you don't, let me know as well, girl. I don't get offended. I just wanna see what y'all like. Now, next we need to just go ahead and melt this hairline just to make sure we get an extra super duper melt. I'm gonna go ahead and use my rapid strip first, and then I like to take elastic band over it. I get a much better melt, and I also notice I get rid of that shine, especially if I sweat a little bit. If I let a little heat get to it, that extra shininess comes up on my forehead. So next, all we have to do is work on our curls. The great thing about this hair is that it's super duper soft. Like it's crazy soft. I couldn't stop touching it. And one thing that I wanted to do was enhance the curls that were already there. I love using the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Frizz Free Curl Mousse because it's water-based. So it doesn't weigh down the curls. And since these curls are much looser, it's better to use a less uh dense mousse so i'm using this mousse all over the hair and smoothing it through and combing it through using the evolve 572 brush now we did that till we got all the way up to the top and look girl look at the curls when it's wet i can't wait to wear this on vacation like it looks amazing now i'm gonna take my dyson blow dryer and i'm just just going to diffuse the curls and make sure those things are dry Next, we need to reveal the hairline. Now, y'all already saw how this was melted. I didn't even need to melt it like that, but I want y'all to know, basically, I waxed my forehead <laughs> just then. But look, look, friend, it looks like it's growing right out of my scalp. Like, it looks amazing. Now, let's get to these curly edges. I'm going to use some more of the mousse to encourage the curl and also not to make sure I lift my lace because this lace can be lifted with... Um, water because i don't use glue i use like adhesive spray so i'm trying to encourage the curls in the roots i don't think these are 3a 3b like they seem like a much looser curl now and i couldn't get them to like pop up like i would have wanted to so i had to add a little bit more mousse i probably should have encouraged them in the beginning but the curls on the edges aren't super kinky or obvious to me but that was fine to me. I didn't really mind that, but I do think you need to add a little bit more mousse and concentrate on the roots if you wanna see some of those curls pop up. They are a little bit longer as well, so they don't pop out as much as I would have liked. But I still think the wig looked amazing. Look at how these curls fluff out. They're so defined. It's giving braid out. Like, don't y'all see the braid out moment? It looks beautiful. I love this wig. If you are interested in this wig, I'll leave a link for it down below. I'll also leave a coupon code down below for an extra $30 off. So get your money off, get your wig if you're interested, and let's go ahead and get into this face. Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and get started with the face. But at first, I feel like I need to put on lotion because my hands are perpetually ashy. I'm so sick of winter. I can't take it. Y'all know, it's get ready with me. We're gonna complain. Are you okay with that? Hopefully you are. Where's my purse? <laughs> get my life together. Let's go ahead and get started with the face. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use the headband that they provided. It's a little bit wide. Y'all know I'm like flattening my hairline like that, like the curls, but let me see. I I've been looking for a headband like this. Well, not exactly like this. Like, like one of these sort of headbands. I don't know, I don't like this headband. I don't, oh. Let's use our little black one. So this black one, I forgot what brand this is. Red by Kiss, love this headband. So we're gonna pop this on. Shout out to my kangaroo arms. My arms be looking like, wow. Let's go ahead and get started with the face. Now for the makeup, we're gonna go with something really, really simple and easy because we're gonna be running errands today or we're just gonna be cleaning the house and doing nothing. It is Monday, so where are we going on a Monday? You tell me. I kinda wanna do like a make, a no makeup makeup look, is that what you call it? Like a really, really simple, like glowy look. I, things haven't changed um, in the new year, happy 2023. Oh, this is the first get ready with me of 2023. Look at that. I'm gonna use the NYX Bear With Me Prime Set and Refresh, I love using this stuff. Just to get the face primed 
and set up for success. Okay, I don't feel like I want to do a full face, but every time I don't want to do a full face, I end up doing a full face. So I'm going to try my best not to do a full face. So one concealer that I love is the MAC 24 hour Studio Fix Smooth Wear Concealer in the color. I use NW45 to color correct. I don't even know if it's color correcting, girl. I just be putting it there. Go ahead and use it around the mouth. All the products that I use, I will leave it in the description box below. So let's talk, friend. How have you been? I think the last time I did a get ready with me, I don't even know when it was. Was it? I mean, it was December. It's January now. It feels like forever because I was doing them every single day week i might as well have put on foundation because at this point <laughs> yeah since december and baby let me tell you let's catch up a little bit y'all tell me how you're doing in this new year i hope you're doing great but leave it down in the comments down below i am doing better today's like one of the first days that i felt like kind of stressed out because i was nervous about doing to get ready with me for some reason i don't know maybe because i haven't done it in a long time i think this is a I don't know what sort of sponge this is. I think a, I don't know. I don't know where this came from. I'm gonna use a fake beauty blender to blend this in. Uh, but yeah, um, I was really nervous to do this. Like it's really strange how nervous I get um, before getting back in front of the camera. It's so insane, but I haven't really taken a real break or anything so i don't even know what i'd be stressed out about girl i really don't i'm just gonna blend all of this out i guess i'll blend it all over the face but i just wanted to concentrate it on those hyperpigmentation areas but yeah um what's been going on nothing much i think i had new goals for 2023 and my goals all consist of me doing stuff that i want to do doing things that make me happy. Last year, I think I complained almost every single week. <laughs> I was stressed out every single week and I came on here every single week talking about being, not being stressed, but being like wanting to do certain things. And girl, now I'm in the era, in the seasoning of doing what I wanna do. You know what I'm saying? I think I'm gonna use stick foundation. Believe that does what I think it's supposed to do because I think I got enough coverage already so my skin has been skinning y'all let me know if you want me to do a skincare routine because you know i've been trying to take care of my skin so so i'm gonna use stick foundation the stick foundation w074 golden skin to get under the eyes and to highlight so it's this little stick color in bobby it's the bobby brown uh foundation stick bobby brown is that girl i don't care what nobody say y'all it's that she that girl i used to think bobby brown was actual like bobby brown i was like bobby brown got makeup i know that's right but girl no he don't that is fully a white woman i'm actually gonna add it straight to the face as well because the coverage i think i need a little bit more coverage under the eyes but yeah last year um was a great year though i mean i was focusing on you know that first year it was my first year um after quitting my full-time job when i worked at porsche corporate now that i've been gone for a year i feel like i can say their name because before i was like girl what if you need to go back <laughs> i worked there for eight years and now you know that last year was dedicated to like making sure I didn't want to go back, girl. I didn't want them to send me back to the club. You know what I'm saying? So I dedicated last year to focusing on growth and schedules and all that type of stuff. But this year, I feel like I want to do something different. I feel like I want to prioritize rest. And I feel like, well, I've been saying that since last year, but I feel like I want to start doing things that make me super happy. So that's what we'll be doing this year. This is looking really good. It may get cakey in a second, but right now it's looking good. This year I want to, I, I got a planner. I got a digital planner. My husband got me an iPad for Christmas. I had it in, I think it was in one of my vlogs. My husband got me an iPad and I was like, you know what? I need to do stuff that's actually gonna like 
help me organize my brain and I get a planner y'all tell me if you do this every single year I get a brand new planner I go to the store I find one real cute one I get to writing in it and then next thing you know I'm out of it girl I'm not playing I, I can't do the planning on paper I felt like I was a paper girl because I'm a millennial but no ma'am I'm gonna go in with the walnut skin Bobbi Brown walnut skin stick foundation and I'm just gonna put it on the cheeks like so like these we actually have some um people coming over today as well so i ain't gotta be doing too much because i don't want to give drag you know what i'm saying i don't want to give like girl where are you going <laughs> where are you going you're in your house <laughs> but yeah i got um my husband got me an ipad so i um downloaded the first thing i did was download a digital planner because i've seen the girls have been doing it i've seen all the girls that i watch do digital planning and first of all i said this before i was hating because i was like why y'all gotta put a planner in an ipad girl it's changed my life change my life it's i've been sitting down and planning each morning for the past two weeks <laughs> And I feel like my life, whole life, my whole life has changed, okay? My whole life has changed since it came in. I really do enjoy using it. And I will leave a link for the planner that I use down below, but it's been great. It really has been great. Um, I enjoy using it. I enjoy um, planning each day, each morning, each week, using pictures. I find pictures off Pinterest, all this type of stuff. Like I do all the cutesy girl stuff and I feel like it's making me a better woman but i don't know if it really is or maybe i'm just i told you i'm a crazy copycat so like when i see other people doing stuff i'm like i want to do it too i want to be a part of the club but i think sometimes being a copycat helps i don't know what i'm talking about y'all let me know what you're doing this year are you planning what are you doing did you do a vision board i've never been a vision board girl my sister is she's a vision board girly i just can't i can't be sitting down i can't sit down on the floor and like cut out pictures and I, I just not, I'm not I'm literally nowhere near into it I don't like vision boards I just don't even like them it's not even like a, I don't I don't even know why I don't like them maybe it's because it's just a task it looks like a task instead of something fun because I would try and make it like something not my dreams I would try and make it something like that's too much like I just can't calm down like girl calm down yeah but that's what's been going on Y'all let me know what's going on with you. I'm going to go ahead and use my same blush that I love, the stick foundation. I'm sweating. I'm always sweating. So I'm going to use the Deep Peach stick. This is the NYX Wonder Stick Deep Peach color. It's like a double-sided blush, but I'm using Deep Peach. How many times am I going to say Deep Peach? But yeah, a couple things I want to do this year is decorate my home. That is a goal. I want to uh, stay on schedule. I would love to work out more because lately I've been working out like once a week, maybe. And I just, it's not, it's not cool. I would love to work out more. I don't think there's any more goals. I mean, there's outside of like what I would like to do here on my channel for work. But, you know, I'm trying to figure out like personal goals because I feel like you know, we all are trying to find something that we're, what, I don't even know what I was about to say. That sentence was going nowhere. <laughs> it was going <laughs> nowhere. I would use this sponge to set my under eyes, but it like, Kate, it's for like going out. That sponge is, it's like the Real Techniques, Real Techniques fuzzy sponge. It feels like a hamster. <laughs> so I don't really need that. I should set my under eyes. I already know what I'm gonna use. It's like my favorite product the Laura Mercier translucent powder I want to try the one that's like a little bit more golden but I feel like the translucent is the best like it has the best reviews so I'm just gonna set underneath the eyes the way I haven't cleaned this brush y'all is insane oh okay I just really want to keep it light and easy go into the smile lines a little bit next to the nose remember people used to do this with their nose i don't know if people do that anymore next i'm gonna take i'm gonna take this i don't know if i want to do a contour brush or just like a light fluffy setting brush this is what i use i'm gonna use this big 
brush from Jesse Selection Girl. <laughs> Where's it from? I don't know. And I'm gonna take my MAC Dark Deep powder and I'm just gonna set the contour areas. I feel like this is what keeps like this is what helps the makeup look less, you know, makeup y is when I use my dark deep MAC stuff. I just hate the container. Like I just don't know why they made it like this. Let me set my nose real quick because it's giving oily. There you go. Set the whole nose and the forehead. Y'all, I'm trying to race the sun and the sun is beating me. When is daylight savings? Like when does it end or begin? When does the time change? Cause I am ready, okay? Getting under the nose. Do y'all switch up your makeup? Because I just don't. I do the same methods. I really don't do anything really different. I feel like keeping it consistent gives you the best makeup. But yeah, did I say? Oh yeah, I was saying. I want to keep decorating my home because um, we've been living here for so long and I just didn't take, I've always wanted to decorate it, but I haven't taken the time to look at stuff. And I finally found a couple things that I like. Yesterday I went to Home Goods. Home Goods is back on, girl, because they was off for a minute. It was looking very much uh, country in there. Shout out to the girls that love the country style, but that ain't me. I went in there yesterday, found a couple things as soon as I walked in. I'm liking how my bedroom is looking. And next I just want to do, I mean, I did my office. We did a couple of home decor things. So I feel like I'm all over the place. Please excuse me, but <laughs> things haven't changed around here, girl. Now for brows. And I'm trying to rush because I'm really hungry. Like, I'm hungry, girl. I got some lentils on the stove. I've been loving lentils late, lately. Lip Bar, shout out to Lip Bar. They did send me, they've been sending me PR packages. Not because, girl, I signed up for it. So, and they sent it to me. So, I have this, um, the Lip Bar Exact Arch Micro Brow Pencil. I love this pencil. And I use the color Deep Brown. And I'm just gonna just do the brows. Now I've already done my brows. I do them every single morning when I wake up because I be feeling like a, like my eyebrows have been, I don't, I don't know. They just look like they're not there. So I feel better when I have eyebrows. I don't know what it is, it's crazy. It's weird to say, like I feel better when I have hair above my eyelids. <laughs> Like what? Does that even make sense? Add the brow. Oh, I don't think I powdered my brows. <gasps> That's the problem. Let's see if I can add. I try to powder my brows so I don't have that shiny look. When I tell you this adds the best texture to your brows, oh my God. Cause smooth brows just look crazy. You just want a little bit of like lines and texture. I used to be terrible at brows. I thought I was good, but girl, I used to be walking out here looking like somebody sharpied my face. Okay, let me, all of that, boom. I'm not doing any eyeshadow. We already got the blush. All we have to do is spray the face down and then we're done. No, I need to do my lips. Do your lips, friend. So for the lips, I'm gonna keep it simple. I don't know how to do, like I be wanting to do like just really fresh lips. And I don't know what I end up doing, but I end up with like cakey lips. <laughs> like really, really giving cupcake lips, so. Okay, so I'm gonna use my NYX Line Loud Lip Pencil in the color Rebel Kind. Now I remember, you see how dark it's getting? It's 5.35. Can y'all tell me if you like it when it gets dark early? Cause I feel like no one likes that. Okay. See, that's where I go wrong. Right there. <laughs> Oops. <clears throat> Do I have that lipstick? Like my, I haven't used peach stock in a long time. This is a minted lipstick in Nude La La. I wonder if, 
See? This is like a little bit too... Actually cute but it's it looks a little bit too makeup y I have been using this lip gloss up this is the Too Faced lip injection extreme lip gloss and baby oh I'm I freaking love it mm. wow it's just beautiful but now I'm giving 90s like I, I want it to look natural <laughs> Now I look like I'm going somewhere and I'm trying to look like I'm not going anywhere because I think only thing we're gonna do, I'm gonna do is clean the house, maybe take down a Christmas tree, maybe. This is not a running errands face, you know what I'm saying? But whatever, I guess it's giving face. I'm gonna spray this down. I'm gonna spray down my face. Very nice. The lashes, I did these lashes. I actually did a short on these lashes. These lashes are, I'll leave a link to the short up above just so you can see how I did it, but they're super pretty. This one got clumped together somehow. I don't know how I did that, but whatever. It lasts for, these lashes last for maybe, I would say like four days, depending on how I do them, but they last for about four days. Um, before I have to like take them off drying the face um I think that's it let me go ahead and throw on some earrings I throw on my top throw on my bottoms I really don't know what I'm wearing and I'm in a skinny jean like nobody's wearing skinny jeans apparently but I, all I got is skinny stuff so I don't know what y'all want me to do so I'm just gonna go ahead and throw on my outfit and then I guess we'll be out the door to run errands or I don't know what I'm gonna do <laughs> when it gets late I'll be like girl I'm staying in the house like I'm not I'm not I'm staying in the house I'm not going nowhere oh but this is the full look on the face so <sighs> very very pretty let me close my blinds and I'll show you the completed look in a second so let me put my clothes on first oh y'all see the hairline the hair is so soft so fluffy super easy to style like so cute and fluffy now as for my outfit um as for the outfit this is what i'm wearing out now i want to be a cool girl so bad so i seen the cool girls was wearing these um drawstring shirts um like a quarter zip drawstring top and then i have on some open edit black pants and I'm trying not to do the skinny thing, but the skinny thing is like, you know, the girls is doing it. Hold on, let me turn this down. The girls is doing the skinny, the skinny outfit, like the skinny, um, skinny legs. But these are um, like the split hem. So I feel like the split hem kind of makes it more trendy <laughs> in my head. That's what it's doing. And I have my, uh, coach uh crossbody claire bag i don't know like this is a i love this bag so cute easy to throw on with the little chain link and that's it and i have on my nikes my nike i don't even know what these are air maxes i got them from the outlet so this is a really affordable set now this um i still got the same watch i need to buy some jewelry what's that out? but i have this nine west amazon watch and my amazon earrings and like i said this top is amazon like look how cute it is it has like detailing it has pockets it like has a drawstring down here like very cute so with the bag and all of that it's really cute and these open edit pants they make my booty look good you know what i'm saying like it looks nice in the split hem and all that. Let's close out the video so we can get up out of here and run these errands. And plus I need to eat first. I haven't even had lunch and it's 5.58, crazy. Hopefully you all enjoyed this get ready with me. I enjoyed it. I hope y'all had a good time. We need to get up out of here. I wanna say thank you to OMG Her Hair for providing this wig to me and sponsoring the beginning portion of this get ready with me. The hair is everything and I just love it. Ugh, I wanna keep it on. Y'all know I don't sleep in wigs though. So anyways, I want to say thank you again to you all for subscribing and for a great 2022. We're going to have a great 2023, right? Okay. I love you all. 
Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.